Check it out, this is the city. So the guy on Jessica's driving test said to her, you're a pretty girl. Like he said that to her on a driving test. Imagine saying that in Australia, bro. Blah, dude, you'd get, you'd be like if fired. In Australia, I'll, I'll be crying because he's so mean to me. Shouldn't be driving, go back to your SWAT country. SWAT, bro. Is that SWAT or is it police SWAT? Oh, Madanga SWAT. They'd be like, go back. Hey, SWAT, SWAT, get a van, bro. Get a van. Why is SWAT going around in a, like a, a like a brokey van, bro? What if there's a high speed pursuit? Like SWAT's all sitting in the back, mate. Relax. I suppose they can get out quick. Check it out. Oi. You know you see a really big girl and a skinny guy? Does anyone else think, how how does that work mechanically? Like, do you ever think that or not? No, Ian. I do, I think. I think how does it work mechanically, bro? When I see a really, really big girl and a really skinny guy, I think how does it work mechanically? Is he a chubby chaser? Did he meet her when she was a big girl? Did she get big afterwards? Like, these are all the things I think of. Well, you don't think of those things? No, Ian. I'm maybe a bit more primal than you are, love. No, I'm not judging. I'm just wondering, That's love. judging, love. It's been curious, bro. I'm just being curious. Judging with Eric Africa. The whole book in I just think when I see a massive girl, like huge, man, like, you know, 150, 60 kilos with a like, skinny guy, I just think, I wonder, how, I, wonder, I wonder how that love story was, right? I wonder how that love story was, you know? And... Do his mates tease him? Do his mates like, hey, you know, uh... I'm sure he's yeah. got a skinny... Whoa, this car. I'll let him Whoa. go. I don't want to be near right. the car. Right, take this guy's car out, bro. <laughs> it's a lady driver as well. Yeah, of course it is, though. Old lady. Uh, of course it is, though. Now, oh, my friend was giving money away to beggars. Everyone, he's a bouncer, right? Leon, he's a tough guy, but he was giving money away to beggars. Stop, Leon, stop, stop giving money away. It attracts the wrong thing. Listen, like, listen, nothing says like I'm a dopey two week tourist, like giving money away, like standing, ooh, hey, money out, you know? Like, I love Spanian, bro. I love Spanian, right? But he comes here, he just gives massive amounts of money away, and then they tell their friends and blah, blah. And the next thing, every person you meet wants money, right? Every single person you meet sticks their hand out. It's like, they go, you're white, give me money. You're white, give me money. And they're like, but you have money, right? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, why aren't you giving me any? I'm like, because I don't have money because I give it away on the street, bro. Like, you have to add some value, you know? So, sorry, bro, it's not going to happen. Little simps be like, how dare you, how dare you? So there's this dude in Hawaii, right? There's this dude in Hawaii. And his name was the Iron Chef on uh, on um, on YouTube, right? And I didn't give money away. And he started mouthing off. And he started talking about Jessica and like her like her private parts and all this kind of stuff. So I found him by his. I got his. Um, I got his uh, email, and I traced it back to a website. And then I traced the website back to the domain name. And I traced the domain name back to his identity. And then I did a search on him, and I found out where he sat. He sat on boards, like he had these companies and stuff. And I was like, bro, I'm just going to message this company and the shareholders. And I went and found the shareholders, the board, the people sat on the board. And then I found them all on LinkedIn. And then I was like, I'm just going to send them your messages, how you feel about girls, uh, you know, saying all the sexual stuff about Jessica, and see if they share your views. And if, you're, if the company that you represent as a board member shares your views sexually on my 20-year-old girlfriend, right? So, and I, I, I put it all out for him. Dude, he freaked out cancel all the messages like it's good it's good i want to go see bro dan and i want to say brother i think there's a voodoo doll of me in wax someone stabbing it because every time my girlfriend speaks i get a pain in my ear so i think i think there's a this has a voodoo doll of me and her mouth is the pin that pins it so bro dan who lives here he breaks the um, he breaks any voodoo curses so if someone has a voodoo doll and they're cursing you, bro Dan's gonna break it, bro. He's gonna break it. What, what, what a lad, bro, what a lad. Bro, then it's the man. Bro Dan. And brother, this is where bro Dan is. Look, check it out. Instrument of God, brother. Bro Dan, divine, say. This is the divine. 
Yeah, you missed his tarpaulin, bro. You missed Bray Dan's tarpaulin. Yeah, so he's an instrument of divine healing, bro. Yeah. Alright, so this is the intersection where Jessica lives. I don't tell everyone. They're going to stalk me. Yeah, so Jessica got a uh, message by this guy on Facebook and he asked her out he and he wouldn't show his photo but he just set, kept sending her pictures of yeah. money. <laughs> he knows my boyfriend is rich as well. Yeah. I know your boyfriend's rich. Yeah. Anyway. He's trying to things and I'm When he said to me, you have to see me, do, do, do see my picture, I was like, I'm like, yeah. I stopped. So he said you have to. So he sent her a picture of money, and he's like, "Oh, I've got this money for my company." This is my cousin. And I'm gonna. Of course, it is. They're all your cousins, love. Who's not? Just point out people who aren't your cousins. Look, what would be easier, rather than my cousin in my classroom. rather than pointing, listen, there. rather than pointing your cousins out, just point someone out when they're not your cousin, no. right? That's what we should do. When someone's, right. yeah, just point them out. There you go. There you go. Then that guy's not Jessica's cousin, right? So, just to save time, when we're when we're vlogging. Jess is going to point people out who aren't her cousin, rather than who are her cousin. Because it's like, that's my cousin, that's my cousin, that's my cousin. Wow, oh, pink bra, food panda. Check it out. It's called counterplaying when they come on your side of the road. Cause a lot of accidents. So when someone's counterflowing, so someone's counterflowing, right? And someone else is double parked. That's how people wind up dead, bro. Yeah, that's how people wind up dead. So yeah. I approve. I forgot about that. Jesus Christ fireproof, check that out. Oh well, I guess we can sack the firemen. We'll just replace them with pastors, right? Like, and just pray the fire away. This is Sean. Hello. Hello, Dawella. Hello. How are you? Hi. I know. Hi. Hi, Anna. How are you, Haley? What's that? I don't understand. What are you saying? I am going to the community park. No, we're going to uh, some place with a river, a river. So I might swim, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay. Hey baby, how are you? Hello. This is, this is baby Jane, and baby is her real name. So her parents called her baby, right? Baby? This, this is baby Jane. Baby Jane, oh, yeah. So when she's 99, we're gonna still be calling her baby, right? <laughs> right, baby? Yes. See, so, yeah, we'll still call her a baby when she's 99. <laughs> That's her name. Baby 99. And it's Haley, her daughter. Haley. And these are the kids. What are you doing in the hammock, boys? What are you doing in the hammock? Relaxing. They're relaxing in the hammock. Okay. This is your own money. How much money do you have? I don't know. Hey, you, haven't, you don't count your money? I can't count my money. You should count your money. You shouldn't run around the neighborhood with your money. I might rob you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so cute, bro. She's so cute. All right, this is, I'm leaving. We're going. So we're going to like a waterfall or, or, or a river. And I'm gonna do some power clean. So I've got my um man cool people sit my head because I'm so tall. I've got my uh bar, Olympic bar in the car. I'm just gonna take it out and do some power cleans, bruh. Like a like a jock meathead. Do some power cleans. There you go, check it out. Jessica, hey! There's Jessica driving. Ford bruh! Driving for this is her car, it's not my car. So this is actually her car. So she bought this. She maintains it. I help her out a little bit. Like she rings me and goes, like we're together and something blows, she gets so stressed, she's like, oh Ian, you know, this is blown or that's blown. And it's like I say this and Jess, cost five grand to run a car, mate, at least five thousand dollars. So she gets stressed, but I just, you know, so sometimes I help her out. I'm just like, mate, here you go. Like, so if a par blows or something like that, I'll pay for it. Space tires and things like that, but like, if it's too expensive, I just pay for myself, you know? Anyway, when we get married, we'll kind of, um, yeah, we'll, 
It'll be different when we get married, right? We're both single at the moment, like single, separate, everything's separate, so it'll be a bit different when we get married, so yeah. Philippines flag, bro. Hey Jess, did you say there was an Australian flag here? Yeah, there. Oh, there's an Australian flag. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Check it out. Jibney Maintenance, bro. There's a trike. Where's this Australian flag, love? Where's the Australian flag? It's down there. They only have it in the afternoon for some reason. I'll show you. Well, they fly the Australian flag here. Yeah. Well, I'll show you. I don't know if it's there. Like when they open the gate, they put it in this gate here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not here anymore, but in the afternoon, it's here. Okay. This house is greenhouse. Yes. Yeah, I think there's a foreigner who lives there. Okay. There's a foreigner who lives So a little adventure. I don't know where we're going. We're going to some river. We're going to do some power cleans. I've got my barbell, my yoga mat, and some neck bridging, some power cleans. Check out the mountains. Got the mountains in the back. I'm with my mountain girl, right, lovey? She just rolls her eyes when I say that. If I say mountain jungle girl, I don't get in trouble, but mountain girl's all right. So that's it. Check it out. So you can roll around here without a helmet. No one's really going to get angry at you. Like, living is pretty cool. Like people don't stop you, they don't find you here. Like you can drive without license, you can ride around a helmet. It's like it's very easy. It's when you go to other cities that they're a bit more like baggy out, bro. Baggy out, cash grab, baggy out, bro. That's when you get booked for everything. You can drive here even if it's Friday. You there's a coding. So you're not supposed to drive on Fridays uh, fast uh, in Manila, which is uh, in, anywhere in the country, which is ridiculous because. If we want to go away for the weekend, we're leaving on Friday, bro. You know what I mean? We work. So for them to give us Friday as a coding day. Are you like, allowed to have two plate numbers? Give us Wednesday, bro. You know what I mean? What's that? Are you allowed to have two plate numbers? No, but we can have two cars. So that's what we're going to do. If we ever move here, we're going to get two cars. One registered in her name, one registered in my name. This thing is Thai. This plate number is Thai. Yeah, he's got a Thai plate number there. <laughs> Thailand! I mean... You look Thailand, team team. Same face. No, no Same. Time. Yeah, you 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 know for ang. You know for ang. That's why I said to Jessica. So you know for ang. You look Thailand. Same face. Same Thailand. You face face. Same Thailand. Only. Same same only. Right, love is how they, how they speak. Yes, if you hear people here in the Philippines, it's a big issue. It's always the motorcycles. Yeah. They <laughs> just they're on our side of the road, bro. Right. Very... I think they're going to be, but you don't let me go. Like, it's called counterflowing. But I'll say how Jessica says it. Counterflowing. Can you say it, love? Counterflowing. Counterflowing. That counterflowing. So we call it counterflowing. They call it counterflowing. From America, where we said tomato. I would tell her, bro, I'll say, listen. We say tomato. What's that? Tomato. Tomato. Hey, bro. Here we go. Waving his hand. He's there every day. At least he's yeah. not stealing. Right, he's good. He's a good guy. It's better. Oh, I'm just glad my dad don't do stuff. Yeah, well, it's a waste of time. It's hardly no money. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a bit of so my my dad right he was poor dude he left the army worked in a chicken factory worked from like 6 a.m to 10 p.m right in the chicken factory so i was super motivated to not be poor bro i was like 
I was just super motivated. That's part of the reason why I started the company. I was like, dude, my dad worked for a chicken factory. There's no way, bro. No way. So, yeah. What is he doing? Dividing? Nah, just everything. Just diff he did all the jobs, like slaughtered, blah, blah. I yeah. worked, I, I worked, like, yeah, I've done, I worked when I left, you know, I was in high school. I did a stint there, you know, the chicken factory. It was like, ugh. Oh, you worked as well? Bro, I worked at a chicken factory, yeah. I was like... Your dad put you there? Yeah, my dad put me to work there, mate. Since I was a kid, I was... I was yeah, as soon as I was old enough to work, I got jobs. I worked in two chicken factories. I worked in a beef factory. I worked with these broken jobs, and then I realised, man, I then went travelling, then I realised, ah, oh, you know, like, there are rich people in this world, but I'm not rich. What do I need to do? Well, I, uh, I did a sociology class where they said you can change your... Uh, you can change your like demographic with education and um, and basically uh, your know, education is a job. So yeah, that's it. So I try to uh, try to get good jobs and blah blah blah. You know, start companies. Since every time you clean the car, it rains. Every time. Every time. No. Sometimes it's not even rains. Just the droplets. car cleaning gods hate you. Just to. Mess up with my car. The car cleaning gods hate Jessica, bro. The car cleaning gods. Alright, so this is like the main, like, uh, like turn of this. Man, what's this guy? Shouldn't be waving his hands, doing some kind of Korean yoga, directing traffic. Just light. Man, light. No light he must be like, oh, I hope the light works today, so I'm gonna have to wave good. my hands. Oh, check it out. She's very clean. They have these signs and it'll be like, sir, I need to pay for university or sir, I need to buy food or it's 99.9% .9 lies. When I was, like, when I was in, uh, when I did my, when I applied for my uh, license, yeah. there was this lady, she went there and she was crying. She said that she needs money. So she's in front of everyone applying for license, yeah. asking for help. And she showed a photo of her She's in the hospital, he needs an operation. And everyone gave her money. And she Except was did you give her money or not? Oh, yeah, I gave her money. Of course you did. Does it feel bad? I saw the key, she's laying in the hospital. Bro, she probably owns more than we do, bro. She probably owns more than I do, you know what I mean? She, well, she has to do that scab a few times a day. Oh, crying. She's oh. in a different thing than that's on her. But... Yeah, well, it's on you for being that, like, gullible. I just, uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot of fake beggars. Well, guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and <coughs> hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next vlog. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.